A recording happening here. And just for recording purposes, if I can get your name, please. Derek Rattan. Let's do this. Coming down to 3 two, one Derek, I'm tired of seeing you, man. Every year I come to the SoCan Awards. <laughs> Who's standing here? It's you. Why? Because you're getting an award. In fact, I think you're wearing the exact same thing you wore last year. I haven't I haven't changed since then. I've, it might be might be different jeans, but it's you know what? I'm like I figure if if a black t-shirt and jeans work for Chris Christopherson, it's good enough for me. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, congratulations. How does it feel? How many times have you been awarded the SoCan Award? I thought somebody told me like 11 times or something. My, my, uh, yeah, well, uh, yes, uh, this will be number 11. Yeah, crazy. crazy. What's the magic in the songwriting, do you think, man? Especially because, of course, I'm overhearing here, you got a number one song in the States, too, now? Yeah, well, two weeks ago, I had uh, Blake Shelton's uh, current singer, last single, a song called uh, Came Here to Forget. And so it was a number one in America. Uh, my, that's my second Blake Shelton um, number one. Thank you, God, and Blake Shelton. Um, so yeah, it's it's been great, man. I just I, I love. I'm very blessed. I mean, we've talked about this before, but to be able to come here and to Canada and be an artist and tour and make videos and and just make my own records, which I'm actually working on a new EP right now. So uh, yeah, uh, that'll be up this fall. Uh, but uh, but then to do 30, 40 dates a year as a touring artist and then go home to, to Nashville and write songs for people like Blake Shelton and uh, uh, just got a Jason Aldean cut, uh, Justin Moore, um, you know, had a Tim McGraw cut last year. It's awesome, man, because, I mean, you know, this has been a long journey for me. My first SOCAN award was 2004, so a, a dozen years ago. And uh, I'm just I'm just so happy and blessed to still be still be doing it. Here's the other thing too. What do you think is going on with Canadian country artists? Because man, it's like I have probably done maybe 15 interviews. They're all damn good. And it's like it almost reminds me of the 90s when the whole resurgence was going on. I feel like it's back again. You know, I th I think that may be true. You know, I think I think part of it is. Uh, a lot of it is just timing. I think there 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 are different points in history where there seems to be a, just a, a surge of, of of talent. I don't I don't know if that's I, I don't know if that's something that that can be attributed to anything specifically. But uh, yeah, we, we do seem to be going through one of that one of those periods right now. I think the you know things generally evolve and get better. One hopes over time, and uh, and I think that's that's true in country on the. The way we're making records, the songs that are being recorded, and the, and the caliber of the singers. There's just a lot of great singers out there who are who are working really hard and and are uh, are you know speaking from personal experience, happy that they're not swinging a hammer. There you go. You know, because I'm a crappy carpenter. I'm a much better songwriter than I am a carpenter. So well, look, man, I know you got more interviews to do. I just want to say congratulations, and uh, I'll see you next year. <laughs> I love your optimism. Thank you, Rudy.